Okay. Um, can everybody hear me all right? Is this good? Okay, good. So my name is Isabella Mitchell. I am a senior at Omaha Central High School. And this poem is titled, Sunlight Over a Graveyard. It all happened suddenly, after a year of constant fighting, as if my lungs had opened and I had taken a breath for the first time. I witnessed a burst of sunlight rise over the graveyard. It surprised me how it burned my retinas and singed my eyebrows, how my chest was overwhelmed by the deep golden flame, but afterwards, it felt like freedom. Before then, I had only remembered what he told me after I surrendered my weapons, after I kissed his bloody lips, after I held his swollen jaw down into the soil, smelling of hazel and gunpowder and tears. You are going to carry that weight. Sometimes I return to his battered grave and sit against the smooth cobblestone. I stroke the silver flowers, lilacs, lilies, gold, and think of his words that mark like scars against my wrists and his death that weighs like logs against my back, and suddenly I am Atlas again, holding the solid stone of humanity upon my mortal back, and I lost his flow of love like a river from his palms, and I had loved too much, enough to give away our lives as one, but I have continued on alone, stumbling through the path of smoldering coals and ash, and now the sunlight that blesses my collarbones casts a shadow larger than hell upon my soul, for he had known me better than I had ever known myself. And it hurts to be ungrateful, to wince at this orb of untouchable gold as he withers underneath the darkened earth, for me to breathe the softness of the atmosphere as he chokes on hardened and muddened roots, to feel grief and loss and starvation and warmth while he sleeps, numb underneath a blanket of nothing. And I hate him so much as I struggle to survive underneath this predestined burden, to continue to carry that wearisome weight, but for him, I do. And now I sit, watching the sun rise over the stone-filled plains of wire and bones, stories and whispers, mirrors and ghosts, and lift my head to the incoming light, dig my fingers into the frosted earth until his are grasping mine, and know that although I may stumble and struggle and shake underneath this faded weight, as Atlas had held the world for centuries before, his love will let me do it for universes more. Thank you. <laughs>